One of the things that drives me absolutely nuts as a musician is when you're at a concert and the audience refuses to clap in time. It's even worse when you're the performer because it's terribly distracting. At this concert, Harry Connick Jr. had the same problem to contend with. Being the brilliant man that he is, decided to take matters into his own hands and he flipped the audience to be back in time without anybody even noticing. <laughs> there it is. This is my favorite part. Look at the drummer at the back. Right here, here it is. <laughs> Let's go back and listen to it again. See if you can pick it up. All right, if you haven't caught it yet, let me let you in a little bit on the magic trick. So the audience has committed the cardinal sin of clapping on one and three. And Harry Connick Jr. wants to get them routed on two and four. So he pulls out this subtle trick to get the audience shifted. Nobody even knows that it happened. Well, except for the drummer. Every gigging musician has experienced this at one time or another, where the audience is all whacked out in the way that they're clapping. This is a trick that I have got to learn for myself. So I'm gonna sit down and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so it starts on one chord in B flat. It goes to a five chord. It's that fancy five with the sharp nine. Back to one. All right, so that gives us a little bit of the foundation of the tune, but he doesn't do this magic trick until he's in the middle of the solo. Let's see if we can pinpoint exactly the moment where the flip happens. So in order for this magic trick to work, I need to shift the audience from beats one and three to clapping on beats two and four, which means I need to insert an extra beat in here somewhere. So in order to practice this, I need an audience to clap. And you know, as much as my wife loves me, she's not gonna sit here and clap over my shoulder all day. So we're gonna have to do the next best thing. I think this thing might work if I can, <laughs> if I can rig it up. How am I gonna... I need more space. I put it over here. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Yeah, so we do. And then I wait. So I gotta put that gap in there before I go. <laughs> That's tricky. Man, that's weird. Let's try it with the clapping. I think that's it. I think that's it. This is definitely one of those tricks I'm going to use the next time I'm performing and the audience gets all screwed up. While I'm cleaning up this mess that I made, why don't you check out this other video that I picked up just for you.